I figure I should at least try and get another one besides Splunky RL. So I delved back into some of uh, the earlier rulings basically um, Santiago basically did. And I decided to pick up this one to basically show you guys. This is from the 70 year old challenge of 2020. Um, two, uh, this is from 70 year old challenge 2013. And the idea here is basically, you know, as you know, falls right here. 20 years ago, the brave adventurer Rodney descended into the dungeons of doom, sinking fame and fortune. Alas, as if most adventurers foolish enough to take that venture, nothing was ever heard from him again. He had more bravery than brains, said Rosaline, his lonely window. Years went by and everybody forgot good old Rodney until that sad day. The whole world was covered in darkness as civilizations fell one by one, prey to a dark army of monsters rising from the northern mountains. And there was only one thing the minions would say when captured. To our master Rodney we serve and will gladly die for him. The time has come to challenge the dungeons again. Alright, so, we're using Go Google Chrome for like a better experience here. There is a 70 old version and, you know, other stuff. And yeah, we have a little bit of music here as well. Alright, so. Now, something interesting here is you have like a sort of like a skill system. So you have like charge, run to enemies for double damage, you can charge up to three positions ahead. So let's go from here, assault, jump to enemies while running. We have corner, attack an enemy against the wall for two times like, you know, damage. Slash, pass by an enemy while attacking. We have finesse, prevent weapon from damage, damaging on combat, double lift time for all weapons. Counter attack, 20 chance to gain a free attack after being hit. Rage, increases damage for consecutive attacks. Build up, stand fast to power up and unleash a strong blow. Strongly damages your weapon for two times damage. Bash, push enemies back. Backflip, run into a wall to jump backwards. So, I know this basically reminds me a lot of like, you know, um, basically, uh, I think it was Flynn's game, DD Rogue, where like you basically have like all those like different like abilities you basically do here. Though I wonder like if they're, if they're like, you know, um, directional base, or if like you know, there's act active abilities basically. Wall jump, st step into a wall to jump a tile, sweep, hit the free positions in front of you. We have endurance, increase max HP at 50, parry, block 50% chance, um, 50 damage from an active enemy, butcher, increase strength by free, dark sight allows you to see in the dark, packer, carry capacity, courage, recover 1 HP for defeating an enemy, wanderer, recover 10 HP for uh, entering a new floor. Let's see here, we want to do something here. Let's go with, um... I'm betting, like, if we move like, in the same way, we basically, like, you know, um... Do, like, you know, running type of actions, maybe? Hmm, let's go for Slash. Alright, so... You can't play this with, like, you know, the ask if you want to, but... Let's go with like, you know, the tiles. So, press space to, for action, pick, stairs, and inventory. So we have a light, and armor, and weapons. Select item, press space to use, D to drop, or escape days to back out. Alright, so I'm running. Uh, you see a lantern here. There's a lantern, I can pick it up. You just press space to pick it up. So, we basically have, like, you know, um, the numpad keys and, like, space basically do stuff here. And, yeah, it looks like basically just has, like, the idea where, like, you know, if you're basically running, like, you know, in the same way, you basically start running. We pick up a heal healing potion here. So far, we're just like, you know, just slashing around doing stuff, but whatever. All 
Alright, so, um, I think these guys might have their only abilities, by the way, because basically, like, you know, they're getting, like, the first hit on me here. And, yeah, there's, like, the, like, you know, the slash, because basically, I mean, it's, like, you know, slash this guy when I basically do stuff. So, yes, move two, like, you know, squares in the same direction, or, like, you know, in, like, diagonals, and it'll basically, like, you know, um, start running. Though, not if you basically go diagonal, diagonal, so... It has to be every, like, 45 degree, like, you know, arcs, basically. And boom, boom, boom. Let's pick up the staff. I'll use that in a moment, but let's just, like, look around for our stuff. Uh, you drop the torch. It's dark now. Let's pick up the dagger. So yeah, it seems like snakes basically like always get the first hit on you because they're like charging or something. And there's a floating skull apparently. So I could put on a lantern for a light, but you know, whatever. Um. So note that the dagger is 1d6, the staff is basically 2d3. So we'll put on the staff. I don't see the option to throw stuff by way, so dagger is basically just like, you know, just drop them. Oh, so these guys hypnotize me apparently. I can't move. You know, I wonder like if like you know the light source is actually beneficial in those swing skulls. Because maybe they can't actually like you know paralyze me. Bat dies. I pick up a torch apparently. Alright, we'll light up the torch here. There's an, a badly worn dagger. Now here's a question to ask myself, by the way. Is this like, you know, stuff I'm basically using right now, like the staff, is it going to turn into like a worn layer staff, uh, a worn like, you know, staff at some point? And yeah, you can't run away from the snakes, because basically they, um... They're annoying. Now, I assume, by the way, it just has some advantages, like this, like, you know, ASCII um, here, because, like, you know, I'm mostly that I, I can't, like, see stuff very well in, like, these quarters, like, such. So, there might be some benefits to using the ASCII version over, like, you know, the graphics here. But there's, like, two daggers right there. A longsword. Oh yeah, look at that. So now I got badly worn leather armor. Now I wear it instead of leather armor. We'll drop that. Whoops, I didn't mean to pick it back up. There's a worn longsword. We're free to free. Let's just keep the worn longsword until I find something better, I guess, because, you know... If you're gonna get damaged basically over time, it, is, it makes more sense to sort of like, you know, keep stuff basically going as long as possible. Now, I can see like counter attack being pretty beneficial in this game, I think, because it seems like it takes a lot of damage. And there's like a, a spent torch. So 
So yeah, it's spent. Let's just drop it. Oh, so I got far enough to actually get more spill um, abilities here. So run into enemies for double damage. So let's get some charged slashes going on, I guess. Right, I'm just going to put in a lantern here for a bit. And here's the lantern. So I want more, more like if I can basically like, take off like, like you know lantern and stuff like that. So we'll just do this for a little bit. So no problem. Like when you put basically these lights, um, if you try like you know, equip them for, for an inventory, you can't. But I can probably drop it, pick it up, and yeah, it's not like you know. Um, the lantern I just basically dropped is now basically out again, so that's basically one way of like, turning off a lantern, I guess. I mean, it's a 70 year old, you have to basically, like, you know, be creative sometimes. A badly worn staff here, so that's probably what my staff would turn into eventually. A 2D1 type of like staff. So Bass is like running around randomly, doesn't make sense. So yeah, traditional roll like basically right here. So I charged that the lizard man killed him by the way. And the hobgoblin. I just slashed him to death. I wonder if, I wonder if these guys can see in the dark by the way. No problem if I basically try and hit stuff behind me, you're just not actually going to let me, like, you know, do so. Oh, note that my staff is getting worn now, so it's now 2d2. So, you can actually see, like, you know, when your stuff basically is worn from right here. Which is nice. Uh, poison mass dies. Now, some of wonder by the way, um, yeah, I'll note that the stuff basically in the inventory, like in a, in a, a map, doesn't actually stay basically on there, so you actually have to go back basically to like, try and find like, you know, where stuff basically is. So you don't remember like where stuff basically is in this game, that's fine. There's a hobgoblin. I was gonna try and do like a circular a charge against that guy, but whatever. Honestly, it moves too fast for that to happen. Let's try a healing potion here. We're almost like, you know, half dead. So, um, I felt better. I think that healed me about, like, you know, just like a little bit under half my HP. Let's go, Lizard Man. That looks like a golem. Slash, slash, slash. There's a long sword there. So here's a question to sort of ask myself. Do I basically want to, like, you know, unequip my staff at this point, or do I just want to keep it, like, you know, for now, because I'm basically fat battling, like, weak stuff, basically, at the moment. I stand alert. So you can stand, like, you know, on the same spot, by the way, if you want to. By the way, there is like, you know, laptop control, so I can use like Q, W, E, you know, all sorts of stuff, and every, like, you know, use like the 5 key to stand alert. There's some scale mail, you can't pick it up. Maybe my inventory is too full. No, probably this is not worn, so. Drop that, pick this up. Pick up the scale mail.
can't move. Those skills can be dangerous when our enemies are around you now. Uh, I can't pick up the healing potion apparently. Well, that's fine, I'm gonna just leave it alone. Now, here's a question do I get poison in this game, I wonder? There's an orc there. Now, something I wonder about this slash power is does it work if, if I were, were, you know, move diagonally to him or have to be like, you know, horizontal, like, you know, count directions basically to hit him basically? Valley more staff, Valley more staff. Let's heal up. Let's pick this up. I guess there's no map by the way, so that's just to remember where I'm busy going here. All right, so salt. Jump into enemies while running. Corner. Backslash. Pass by two enemies while attacking. Finesse. Prevent weapon. Um, prevent weapons from damaging on combat. Doubles lift on all weapons. So stand fast to power up and unleash a strong blow. I think the idea here is like, you know, if you basically stand still, you'll basically build up your weapon stuff for this one. Endurance, parry. I like to even get like you know pack or anything at this point. That was fun. Okay, we got badly worn staff at this point. Let's just change it out for something else. So. Drop this. This is where it sucks basically not having like, you know, an inventory, like, you know, decade key for it, but whatever. Oh, you can press I basically go into your inventory. That works. Alright, so, um. Put this here. That's like seeing if there's like a pickup here or anything like that, whatever. I guess there isn't. I don't actually see like any benefit by the way to like, you know, um, the running like, you know, action itself is this, you're running basically, it's like, you know, this is all it does. Let's get this, get that, there's the way down. There's a golem. A ruined scale mail. Well, oh, that's basically what was on me, but it got ruined. So we don't have any armor now. Valley Warren Longsword is like, you know, Valley Warren.
Man and male, why not? We'll put this on. Seven armor. This way down. Now, no, boy, I don't plan to actually like play this game like you know all the way down to its like you know deaths because honestly, I take too long. I mean, already basically gone for 20 minutes here, and we're like you know what level six, or maybe that's just my level. Whoop! There goes my like weapon, by the way. This is where it's good to have multiple weapons, basically. So. Eh, let's go for the torch. Let's go for a slanter, why not? Now, I'm not probably just like sort of experience here. Um, what can I basically say about it? For most part, this is just like your like traditional like you know box standard like you know rolling for most part, but it's got that sort of innovative idea where like you know you basically have like this like sort of like you know you move this way you start running. Um, if you basically have like the charge skill, you basically slam into something and you do like more damage. Um, this is something that like you know you see like a lot like of like you know later rolling basically sort of like adopt now. Though I guess basically in in um in a, you know in the case of like DB Rogue, so. This is like from like 2009, so obviously like Rodney is basically like you know done after it, but um, it's basically like a very innovative like you know type of way of basically like you know playing these games because you can't just like willy nilly like run around. Um, just like you know with space slamming into stuff, you really want to basically like be more tactical, basically. Let's get finesse because I like the idea of like, you know, my wife is not dying up melee. Uh, okay, this could be scary, so. Now I dropped that because these guys, uh, I was hoping that they wouldn't be able to see me. Like if that like you know skull basically saw me then that'd be like really bad of course so this way down there's our torch I can't pick up the torch because I don't have room for it more chainmail. Excellent lower uh, layer armor, that could be nice. Uh, let's drop the um, thing right there. Wow, well, let's like use a simple dagger right now. I feel like this sort of like combines the best aspects of like you know that seventy dollar base is all about like you know considering your equipment. And here I have to sort of like, you know, find equipment first to like, you know, use it, but that's fine. So, uh, excellent letter armor versus free defense, but you know, that's fine. It's still excellent. And my lantern's about to go out, so... Lantern's out. Torch is on. Okay, I think we're done with, like this, like you know, level. Nope, I went. I might have missed over here.
Apparently I killed a leprechaun somewhere. Uh... I don't think I need that... that measly leather armor says so drop it. And... I'll heal up a little bit here. Ooh! So, apparently as you go down further, you basically find like different tile sets. Which, you know... Has been done, so it's fine. There's a torch. Worn side armor. And my torch is gone, that's fine. We'll, you know, equip a new torch. I would find a way down. Wound long sword. Healing potion. A beast! Is that like a demon? You know, something I should actually test by the way. Do I basically get more um, experiences by like descending or do I get from like killing stuff? Do do do. It might be like, you know, I'm actually not benefiting a lot from like, you know, killing stuff, but more so from like, you know, the same levels. That's how I know about like Anias, basically, like one of like Slashy's other works. Um, in that game, sometimes like, it was just better to sort of like dive rather than like, you know, um, like equipment is something like, you know, destroyed by like, like attacking stuff. My dagger's worn, I have badly worn, abandoned mail. It might be every three levels I basically get like a level by the way, so... Let's get Butcher. Ow, I'm really taking some injuries from these guys. Heal up. Heal up. It might be time to increase my HP by a little bit. There's a... Oh, that's my, like, you know... I know what that basically is. Put this basically on now. Torch on. Pick these up. I'm definitely finding that the enemies get tougher as you go along, at least. Though, on the point where, like, you know, with this sort of game, if you don't have, like, the equipment basically to, like, you know, take these guys on, it's probably gonna be very bad for you. Nice little lantern. Uh, I killed a rust monster there. Those, uh, of course, are bad to basically hit with, like, you know, weapons. Worn scale mail. I'll take it just in case. You know, I think how, like, this, like, sort of works, by the way, is, like, you know, um, 
you want basically like you know beat stuff up, up like weak weapons and like sort of like conserve like your best weapons for like later on and avoid rust monsters of course Oh, so I got our level like um, uh, you know, level eleven here. Boop, there's some more HP. I figured out a new tile set. Well, there's my my like leather armor space ruined. Uh, are those succubuses? Nymphs. Okay. And yeah, I'm not probably feel like you die only to like you don't actually hurt them, so something you guys to keep in mind. And apparently my dagger's ruined by the way, but whatever. Drop. Drop rider again. Put on a staff. A paralyzed. I want like if frost monsters take like you know, um, if they damage my staff, I basically use against them because staffs are basically wooden. I'm not in D and D like the way of like battling a rust monster is basically just you know, don't hit them with um, metal weapons. Just like use like wooden ones. I should probably put my worn skin mouse, shouldn't I? And. So heal about like 50, I guess, with like, you know, an extra healing potion. On uh, no part, there's like nothing really snazzy with like the weapon design is, or like, you know, um... There's nothing really snazzy with like the, um... What you call it? The level design, basically, for this game. Let's use this. Pick up the plate mail. You know, I might get night vision just so I can see stuff a little bit better without having to use a torch, but I don't need the inventory just yet, so... Our torch... Banner mail, I can't pick it up. That was a quizit. And of course my like you know armor's destroyed. Pick up the band mail. Let's put this basically on for now. Can't put use that, so there we go. The mentor dies. We're counting mentors now. A war claim war. Can't pick it up. Well, I want it for sure, so... Warren Claymore, 43. I like how I just run past stuff, like, you know, willy-nilly and, like, you know, accidentally kill them. Everything dies. Yoink. Yoink. Hmm.
Stand faster, strong blows, rage, increase damage from consecutive attacks. Ooh, so you have like, you know, I get like a lot of like strength if I want to, and then we've got another tile set here. You pick up the band mail, that's very nice. Yeah, I know that I'm doing a lot more damage from like my like you know my skills and my weapons, but whatever. Mantor died. There's a war and longsword here. I would do that. Put this here. Gah. There we go, put some band mail on. Excellent ring mail. Oh. We'll put that on first. Actually, you know what? I really should put on the, like, you know, band mail because it's got, like, you know, less durability, so. That makes this, like, no good to me. Up a little bit. So, a giant wolf. Okay, there goes that bad mail, so. Put this one on. Our torch. No lack of light sources in this game. And yeah, there's really, really no reason to cru uh, like, you know, run into that room killing everything, but whatever. Where's my healing potions all gone? I wonder like, if the leprechauns or something like that was stealing my potions. That could be a thing they can do. You might just see me die rather right? than like, you know... Something else happening. Interesting, I didn't drop the room, uh, ring mail, I guess, because, like, you know, it's, like, you know. I had, like, you know, something on top, uh, under me there. Apparently, I killed a wraith. Excellent chainmail, Warren Claymore. Healing potion. Torch. Nothing this way. Slowly but truly, I'm getting further and further down here. Let's get Perry. There's a regular Claymore right there. Uh, we'll keep using the bad mail for now, because why not? So yeah, the nymphs are basically stealing from me and vanishing, so... There's like enemies that will basically steal from me if you're not careful.
We use this. The excellent long sword. I think I just stole something from me. Oh no, no it died. That's fine. What type is that? Is, is that like a mandragora? Deadly flower. They're called deadly flowers. Those like fire beasts. Ruin split mail. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that chainmail just for like, you know, uh, a little bit later. Put this on. It's still my lantern, the bastard. Invisible stalker. So we have invisible enemies now. this. I will get this. It actually helps me have more items now, by the way, because those nips will steal from me, so... You know, I just realized my HP's gone down. I think, like, you know, um, maybe the race will, like, you know, drain my life, perhaps, or something like that. That could be a thing. Something at least. And of course, that's an nymph that stole from me. That's a ruined longsword. Let's use this one so I don't lose that. The Nif died! Hooray! Our healing potion. I can't move, apparently. I guess the deadly fire has the ability to like paralyze you or something. Kill a nymph. Strength potion. A little bit stronger. Guess putting a chainmail at this point because we're like gonna die soon if I'm not careful. So let's get dark sight. I don't actually need the lanterns anymore, so let's ditch it. Get this here. A zorn. Here's a little soccer. Guess our healing potion. Yoink! And yeah, I'm just gonna start, you know, ducking down, so to speak, at this point to get, you know, where we need to go. Get the extra healing potion there. It's still my weapon, I think. Alright, black light lets me see even further more in the dark, it's nice, but um, let's get courage. Let's pick up a spear. 1d8, not terrible I guess, but you know, not great. So 
So I'll note that torches are still useful, even with, like, you know, this limited vision. Because I got to see more of, like, a torch. Even now. I think when they steal your weapons, they're gone. So... The Umber Hulk. There's so many enemies that you can fight in this game. I wonder, like, if, um... Slashy, like, really came back to, like, you know, really, like, you know, flesh this game out or not, because... This is really, like, you know, pushing, like, the boundaries, like, what you expect from a center rail. This is, like, you know... Very high in scope. Um... I'm not basically my like, HP went crazy and I like you know got memorized a whole lot, so that sucked. Let's get this. Why are there two levels here? One's a mimic. That was a mimic too. Okay, so we have mimics now. You know, I sort of feel the invisible stalkers that you shouldn't be able to, like, just run past them. But whatever. That's like... Um... I complain about, like, a very old game that... Slashed me long ago. There's some chainmail. Never mind, dies. There's my chain mail. I don't know why, but, but um, something's making me like, you know, act in strange ways. I just died. So, you are dead. Press enter to continue. Alright, so, that's basically Rodney by, like, you know, um, Slashy. He basically did that in 2013, I guess. And, you know, very, very, like, you know, um, very in-depth, like, you know, Rolex experience. If you're looking for, like, this, uh, you know, quick, like, you know, jaunt through a uh, traditional Rolex with, like, you know, um, skills and abilities like that, that's, like, a really good example of it. So, hope you guys enjoy that and take care.